Cuz my elbows rested against the kitchen counter. I raised my wine glass to my lips for what seemed the hundredth time today, sipping on the alcoholic drink. I slammed it down on the counter a little too harshly, before lowering my head. I can feel my body buzzing as began attempting to calm myself down. I'm lying if I say that I wasn't tipsy. I stood up straight and blew out the candle that stood in between my and Jungkook's plates. I made the both of us dinner, expecting Jungkook to come home early like he always does, I even invite our close friends and family members. But he's currently nowhere to be found. Seeing Jungkook not coming, everyone left. Just I'm sitting here all alone. Today Jungkook didn't try to communicate with me. He didn't even receive my calls. Is he that much busy with his new friends? That he forget our first marriage anniversary. I prepared so many things for him. Just to make our first marriage anniversary memorable. But he makes it more memorable for me. I will never forget this day. I tossed the food that was previously garnished on the plates in the trash bin, suddenly I feeling my appetite disappear. I trudge out kitchen, my body slightly swaying left and right as began to struggle to keep myself upright. But once I reached my bedroom upstairs, my body immediately collapsed, and the tears began to flow down my cheeks. Time skip. In the morning, when Ti Heung woke up he saw Jungkook's arms were wrapped around his waist. Ti Heung forced them off of him, and he slowly got off his bed. Then he entered the bathroom, rested against the sink I looking up at the mirror. My eyes were puffy, along with the rest of my face. Dark bags surrounded the bottom of my eyes indicating a sleepless sleep last night. Ignoring my broken state, I take a quick shower. And fixed my hair, quickly wear my work uniform and ran out the front door. Time skip. Two days later. Jungkook was calling me again and again. He even texted me too. But I didn't answer his any calls or texts. I totally ignored his calls and texts. Now I'm going home after two days. In this two days I was in my business trip. It's 2 a.m. in the night. I parked my car in front of my house. Before getting out, not forgetting to lock it, I inhaled a deep breath once I stepped in front of the front door. Knowing it very well that Jungkook was inside, maybe still waiting for me, and really am not bothered to hear his possible apologies about that tonight. But nevertheless, I unlocked the front door and stepped inside. Jungkook was sitting on the couch, his hands cupping his lowered face as he let out almost inaudible sobs. He looked up immediately once he heard my presence. He wasted no time in getting up from the couch, and began rushing towards me. I quickly closed the door behind me, and started marching towards the stairs, but Jungkook caught up with me. He then cupped my face, and he placed his lips into mine. I pushed him away immediately, and said, Don't touch me. My voice was venomous threatening. I please hear me out, Jungkook said in hurtful voice, taking a couple steps back. I said in a loud voice. Hear what? Hear your excuse on how you forgot our first freaking marriage anniversary? I saw Jungkook suppress a flinch from my sudden loud voice. But still I keep my voice straight. And I said to him. I want to be alone Jungkook please, I need you to respect that. 
Even hearing this still Jungkook took a step towards me, but I quickly dashed up the stairs to prevent him from getting any closer. The last thing I heard before closing my bedroom door was a loud sob echoing around the house. I also feel bad for talking like this with him. But still I want him to understand what he did is wrong. It's 6am in the morning. But Ti Heung still awake. He tried many times to sleep. But he can't sleep. He feel bad for Jungkook. Because he loves Jungkook so much. He can't tolerate Jungkook's crying state. So he got up from bed and goes to new Jungkook. Jungkook is still sitting in the drawing room couch. He hung his head low. When he realized Ti Heung's presence he immediately stood up from couch. And hugged Ti Heung tightly. Before Ti Heung could say anything. Jungkook starts saying while sobbing badly. I'm so sorry Chai. Please forgive me once. I can't live without you. I can't take your ignorance. It feels so hurts. I know I make a mistake. But please don't punish me like this. I begging you. Please I. Before Jungkook could complete his word Ti Heian broke their hug. And kissed Jungkook deeply. Jungkook kissed Ti Heian back. After few minutes of their makeout session, they both pulled out from kiss. And while breathing heavily connecting their head Ti Heung said, You don't need to say sorry like this my love. I already forgive you. And remember one thing I love you so much. I can't tolerate your crying state. Your happiness matters the most for me. You are my one and only special one. And I want to be your special one too. You are already my special one Chai. You are my everything. I love you Chai. I love you a lot. Saying this Jungkook smashes his lips into Ti Heung's lips. And Ti Heung pulled Jungkook by his waist deepening the kiss. Both lost into each other love. And they both ended up doing it. The end. It's a requested FF by a purple soul teapoker. I hope you all like it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and share. Because it would inspire me to write more FF like this.